morning. It's the uh, seventh or eighth day in Bali, I think eighth day, and I absolutely love it. How could you not? How can you not love Bali? It's a peaceful place. Everybody I've encountered so far has been friendly. And the weather every day has been gorgeous, just gorgeous. And I've actually been living on just coconuts for eight days. I've had about two or three small pieces of durian, but for the most part, it's just been coconut water and the meat. So I'm keeping really cool. I'm not feeling the heat at all. I'm living in a house with three or four others and they often talk about how hot it is. They can, they can feel the heat, but the only time I felt the heat so far was um, yesterday afternoon around two o'clock when I'd already been laying outside for a few hours. And um, I was laying outside for a few hours not feeling the heat at all because you know you keep cool on coconut water. But then you start to get a little sunburn without even realizing it. Because you don't feel the heat. And then uh, later in the day when the sun's really cooking, when the sun shines on your sunburn, then you start to feel a bit of heat. But woke up this morning, sunburn's gone. Recovery, man, recovery. There's a few things I, I really like about Bali. And there are a few things I'm still getting used to. That's one of them. That's one of the things. Looking over my shoulder and seeing a motorbike or car zoom by. In Canada, you're always walking on the oncoming lane, so you can always see them coming. So you're never having to look over your shoulder. But uh, I'm getting used to that here in Bali as the days go on. And on the bikes, on the motorbikes, as we can see, there's, uh, there's typically either very small children or cats and dogs. So the parent will be wearing a, a helmet and the child, like the two-year-old child, will just be sitting up front, no helmet, because no helmets can really fit those small children. So, very interesting. But it's just the way it is. It is what it is. Another thing I'm getting used to is all this... Example right there. Another thing you get used to is some of the litter. It's, it's interesting, the, the Balinese will... They'll sweep. They'll sweep every morning and they'll sweep every afternoon and they'll sweep every evening. Sweeping the leaves away, sweeping the dust away. But they don't seem to mind the litter. So, there's, there's lots of it, but um, you just get used to it. It becomes part of the landscape. Best coconut I've had yet. And I've had lots. This is the best one. But um, another thing getting used to is the early nights. I actually really look forward to the early nights. 6 p.m. early. 6 p.m. early. Get to bed around, get in bed around 6, fall asleep around 6.37. And wake up at 5.30 fresh, fully charged. Fully charged. Um, there's so much to, to see and do here in Ubud, where I'm staying. Ubud is one of the cities here in the province of Bali. And uh, it's, it's a hip, it's a modern, well, modern, it's, it's a conscious place to be. Um, another thing I'm getting used to is these little dogs. They're everywhere <laughs> and they can scare the heck out of you. You're running along, walking along, and they'll start growling and they'll run up to you and whew, animal instincts kick in and you either <laughs> freeze or want to fly. I do a little bit of both. Um, 
But the more, yeah, you get used to it. The more you walk around, the more you expose yourself to what you're afraid of, the more comfortable you become. So I've been going out every morning for at least two hour walk, meeting new people every day, talking to new locals, seeing new sites. Like, it's just an incredible place. <laughs> and it's very affordable. There's homes here you can rent out for 400 bucks a month for the home. Sure, it's a one bedroom, but it's all you need. You just really, you really just need a place to sleep. You can get Wi-Fi out at any cafe. You can get um, things to do, people to talk to outside of your home. You're really only paying for a little place to sleep each night, a place to store your belongings, which I feel very comfortable with here. Um, <laughs> and the only really belongings I care about are my passport. Everything else can really be replaced with ease without much danger. So as a, as a fruitarian living here, the fruit is insanely abundant. It's everywhere. And, uh, well, here in Ubud at least, I gotta speak about Ubud because elsewhere it might not be the same. Morning. And so, yeah, durian everywhere. Not everywhere, sorry, but in season it will be. But there's quite a few stalls at the market, quite a few stalls along the roadside that have durian. And it's really good durian. It is really good durian. It's about, um, for US dollar wise, it's about, yesterday we picked up four of them for three bucks each. Uh, granted, they are small, but they're so damn tasty. And it's, it's a different mindset when you're eating small durian. It's not the mindset of let's gorge, let's feast, let's just get stuffed, let's just get wrecked on durian, let's just stay up all night and eat durian. It's more of the fine art of eating durian. It's the, it's this, um, it's a delicacy here. It's not something you want to, or it's not something you really can overdo. Um, because the pods are so small, the, the seeds are so big and the flesh is so little on the ones I've been having, it's, um, it's a delicacy for sure. You just have a little bit and it satisfies. It does satisfy because it's so rich still. And the flavor is, is the flavor is fantastic. Unlike any flavor I've ever had in any durian. And I just discovered yesterday a way of opening them. The really sharp, spiky ones without any with um, without having to use a knife. Because the ones the ones here you can't just like pry open with your thumbs. They're rock hard and they're so spiky. Like you can't even really like play around with them in your hands. Um, very very sharp points. So I'll show you a way of opening them with no tool. It's it's the it's a very primitive way. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, seriously, all you need is coconuts here. It's all you need. Look at that view. Rice on rice on rice on rice on rice. Say hi. Good morning. Good morning, yeah. It's you. Yeah. Hmm. They don't speak much English, but they all speak a little bit. They all know, yeah, no, hello, good morning. Other than that, you need um, a younger, a younger gen, a younger blood. Hmm, uh, well, what was else was I going to tell you? Just find some place you want to go. Go there and hmm, don't go there with much of a purpose other than to have a good time. And you'll have a good time. Thanks for watching, and I'll be sure to fill you in with some sweeter videos in the future.
checking out Bali, Indonesia. Peace.